Hey guys, welcome here to Devon Works. Um, this is where we do all the fabrication and uh, continuing research on Devon. A lot of you guys have been asking what we're doing. Are we coming up with bodies? Are we coming up with frame? Um, I'm going to do this uh, first one here, a restoration blog, and we're going to show you what we're working on, what we're doing, and how we're going with it. So if you guys want to follow me, we'll go inside and see what's going on. Okay, um, right here now, those of you who have been following my Instagram, Facebook, uh, some of my podcasts, you'll know that we're making a couple uh, continuation bodies here. Um, this particular one here, the white one, um, it will be going on a Devon frame and it's been shipped to England. We're doing a bit of work here to try to prep it for those guys. Uh, we have the tail lights in the back, we have the headlights in the front, we've got the doors working on the uh, vehicle. So this will be shipped over to England probably in the next week. Uh, the blue one over here is another continuation body. And we're going to be, our plan is to be building that at the same time they're building the one in England. So we might see something, they might see something. So we're going to work together uh, across the pond and try to figure out how these things went together. And uh, this red one behind me, interesting story about that one is, this is one I received from Bill Devin's collection, so it was actually made by him. Um, it's been a great source of information for us, um, where he put extra reinforcing in the fiberglass, maybe an area where he didn't reinforce it as much for weight. But this has been a great map, a great tool for us to see how to make these bodies, which were uh, all came from that same mold I received when I went out there to California and picked up uh, all the properties. We're also preparing the rear for the car. So we're going to go over here and see, um, meet Paul Dolly, one of my uh, guys here is pretty much an expert on these rears. And we're going to show you the rear end we're preparing for these cars. Follow me. Okay, here's a Devon SS rear. I'm here with Paul Tholey. He's one of our uh, specialists here on drivetrains. And he and I are going to walk you through what Bill Devon did in the 1950s to make a rear for the Devon SS. Um, at the time, he originally was bringing those cars in from, uh, chassis in from um, Nolan Hills and Malcolm McGregor in Northern Ireland. He decided to be more vertically uh, integrated and made his own frames and he made his own rear. So at that time, the rear that was brought in from Ireland had a Salisbury rear in it. So one of his first challenges is to get, and Paul will tell you, get a GM part, Chevy part that's going to work in here. I thought this rear was really exciting the first time I seen it. And I get just as excited every time we get a chance to take one of these and marry it back with the uh, Devon body. So what is really cool about this is we took this rear, or Bill Devon took this rear, and it was the Corvette style base front. And it's similar you know, equivalent, you know, about an eight and a half inch ring gear and it would be the, you know, the American equivalent to the Salisbury rear. But it's front loading versus you know, having the inspection cover on the back of the Salisbury. So he was able to take this aluminum piece here and machine it to receive not only the front-loading Corvette, but you know, mount the aluminum calipers on there. It really built a competition differential to fit you know his Devon uh, chassis that he did there. So I think it was taking the best technology that was available back in you know, '59, Americanizing it a bit here, lightening it up, and uh, really making it more of a competition use. So. Uh, <laughs> So it's 1959. They didn't have the tires they had in the mid 60s. So Dion 2 was something that, and we'll see in the next room, would, would grab the outside hubs of both wheels. So independent in here, but you also grab the outside, and that allowed a guy going around the turn to keep more tire on the road. Um, the 60s came along, tires got bigger, so Dion tubes weren't that necessary anymore. But you're talking 50s, 59. This was cutting edge technology. Uh, Lister had it, maybe a Jaguar or two had it, and um, Devin had it. And that's what had the success that they were able to have. It wasn't just the body. He actually came up with a design of a rear that brought the sprung weight in, which is very important. We have disc, we have aluminum, we have lightweight. We have a lot of things that was necessary to be successful on the racetrack in this rear. And uh, we're kind of excited we're able to sort it out, figure out how all these parts go together. And um, this will be heading 
also with the weight body over to England to be fitted into um, the continuation SS that they'll be building over there. And you know, I, want, I just mentioned the Dion tube. Why don't we go over to the uh, frame fabrication room and you can see how one of these Dion tubes is going into the frame right now. Okay, you guys have been asking, um, are you gonna make a Devon continuation frame? So we're now over here in the um, metal workshop area of the Devon Works. And what I was leaning on, I'll go back to leaning on, is the picture that Bill Devon originally used to build his Devon SS frames. Um, we use this along with historical documents, um, drawings which we found, even photos give us some insight. Uh, we take that historical information and we take the CAD drawings which we're generating and using the new technology of CAD and being able to analyze some structural components of this thing, um, we're going to be able to follow Devin's DNA and like the sign says on the wall to continue to manufacture championship race cars. This is not just a kit car. This thing's going to be designed to go out and race and hopefully be very successful. Paul had some comments on here. Uh, this is more of the component here that we're looking at with this, the Dion tube. Putting up in the fixture and you read some of the old advertisements, there's three different widths. And really narrowing in on what it is to make you know, the best chassis for the Devon SS. So we've got you know the right the Dion tube here. This is, as we mentioned before, it keeps a five inch tire as flat as possible in the turns. You get all the horsepower of light chassis down and it really will be a, a, a winning uh, configuration for this. So this fixture is key to bringing it all together. I'm gonna like model it as it goes up and down. It keeps both wheels together and move together across hubs. And uh, trying to figure out the travel length and get the shocks and get everything right on it, but uh, we're getting close on it. Okay, guys, um, let's see. We talked about the body. We talked about a uh, real good competition rear end. We showed you what we're doing here on the frame, but uh, we're doing something else fun here. I want to bring you over and show you a really cool thing we're doing. So, okay, I promise you something fun here, guys. Uh, this is Devin Jr. If you've been following us, you see we uh, just debuted this at the Ocean City Car Show. Uh, a little history behind these Devon Juniors is that um, Bill Devon actually made this small little mold, and I have the mold today. Um, he made these, a lot of them were sold to Ferrari dealers. The Ferrari dealers would put them on the floor next to the Testarossos and um, hopefully sell a Ferrari to somebody and who went home and said, look, dear, Little Junior is going to get a Little Junior Ferrari too. How special could that be? But we had a lot of fun making this. Um, we put some pictures up on Instagram. A lot of you responded and said, that's really a cool thing. So uh, we made it. Uh, we made it electric. Yeah, why not? It's 2022. Um, we have a 48 volt motor in the inside this thing and uh, runs pretty well. Doesn't go super fast, but I don't know if you really want to go super fast in this thing, but... Hey, it's a lot of fun. I got to drive it on the boardwalk um, a couple of weeks ago. And uh, of all the cars there, I tell you, everybody liked this one the best. So uh, we'll show you around some of the uh, molds we use and the frame we use to do this. And uh, pretty cool thing. So let's go next door and I'll show you the uh, body molds. Okay, we're over here in Devon Works uh, fiberglass area. And this is a section we do a lot of fiberglass work on these cars and make them. Um, so what I have here, as I promised, this is the Devon Junior mold. Um, two section mold goes together. We have a little uh, jig here that allows us to flip it around because uh, gravity is your friend when you're fiberglassing. You don't want to have to work against gravity. But this is the mold. Make out of fiberglass, we pop them out, make them available to you. So, like I said before, hit us up on the comments, um, see what you want out of this thing. Okay, that ends this episode of uh, Devin's Restoration Blog. Um, until next time, um, have some fun out there. Hit me up in the comment section. But uh, right now, I'm going to go drive around the neighborhood and have some fun in this thing. See ya. Thank <laughs> you.